Are you ready to become a man of action? Are you ready to reclaim your life? Are you ready to conquer that fear within so that way you can live a courageous life where you fight fear on a daily basis? And if you are, then I want to welcome you to Men's Lifeline, where we focus on helping men become the best versions of themselves. And today we're going to be discussing the benefits of journaling. Now, there are three benefits to journaling I'm really going to focus on today. The first one is you get to be real. You get to keep it 100. You get to be honest with yourself. Because a lot of times when we talk to people, we always hold back. Whether that's an insecurity, a fear of rejection, or just not wanting to burn someone. A lot of people don't want to burn other people with their problems. So when you get to journaling, you can take all that pain and all those thoughts up here in your mind and more importantly in your heart and you get to put them on a piece of paper where you get to focus on all that pain and all that struggles because you want to be real. A man of action is someone who's authentic and real and sincere, who's not afraid to be themselves. And that means writing on paper because in the second step of the benefits, you get to review. We get to review the wins of the days and the losses of the days where we get to reflect on how well we did that day, how proud of ourselves we are for taking steps and becoming a man in action. And we also get to review on our losses. Did we allow our anger when we get so rageful and so angry, did we, that way we can review what happened. See, it's not supposed to be getting down on yourself or hard on yourselves. And as men, let's be honest with ourselves, right? We can be so hard on ourselves when we feel like we're not perfect, when we're not doing everything 100% right, when we have to be this certain way. Well, let me give you a quote that I kind of developed. When perfection breathes, progress dies. You see, because we get so paralyzed by fear and rejection and insecurities, it's like almost like, why try? Why bother? Well, that's, that's a fixed mindset. That's a mindset that's going to hold you back. We want to have that growth mindset when we're focused on, let's become the best version of ourselves. Let's focus on doing better. And part of that is taking times to review when we don't do well. So we can have an optimistic spirit where we're like, all right, let's see. I was at the market having a bad day and I was getting annoyed by a lot of people and I just yelled at the first person I saw. Okay, what can I do next time? So we take those losses and we make them we make them areas to improve upon our lives, to sharpen our lives, to make our lives better, to strive to be better. But we don't take our anger on other people because that's not a man of action. A man of action is in control of themselves, and of their thoughts and their emotions where they speak life, not death. And the third part is to reverse engineer. Who do you want to become in three to six months? A year can be too far away, especially when you're on that journey from going from a zero to a hero and you're on that journey of improvement, of personal development. And we need to have that introspection where we can really look within our lives and we see the areas that we do well in and not well in. And part of that truly begins at who do we want to become? Do you want to learn how to smile more? Do you want to learn how to control your anger, your insecurities, anything inappropriate or sexual? Like, what do you want to become in three to six months? And focusing on that, like focus on one or two things where you can really dive deep. One thing I've been journaling about is getting healthy, getting fit, going to the gym, writing about why do I want to get healthy, which is huge. In part of reverse engineering of becoming a better person, you want to have your why all set up. Why is this going to be important to you? As you go on your hero's journey from a zero to a hero and learning to conquer that fear within, it all begins today where you begin to realize the person that you want to become and be 100% authentic with yourself as you document your journey. So let's stay committed to each other, to doing the very best we can, supporting, helping each other as we develop this community together to support men. So my challenge to you is to journal for one week and see how that has transformed your life 
as you go from zero to hero and you can do this. You can conquer the fear. I believe in you. Now it's time for you to believe in you. So until next time, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.